Humans have 206 bones in their body. The average cat has 244 bones in its body. Snakes, the most bony animal, have around 1,800 bones. Can you guess how many bones this millipede has? A millipede belongs to the phylum Arthropoda and the subphylum Myriapoda. Arthropods are the most abundant category of animals on Earth. It is estimated that between 75-84% to 84% of all animals on Earth belong to this category. So what are some traits of myriapods? First, myriapods are arthropods. All arthropods have several traits in common. Let's take a look at these common traits. An exoskeleton. Remember the question from the beginning? The answer to how many bones does a millipede have is none. Arthropods do not protect their organs with a skeleton made of bones. Instead, they have a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. Bilateral symmetry. All arthropods have bilateral symmetry. This means that if you draw a line straight down the middle of their bodies, both sides will be identical to one another. Humans also have bilateral symmetry. Bodies with segments. If you take a look at an insect, you will notice that their body is made up of more than one segment. A spider has two segments. An insect has three. A head, thorax, and abdomen. Segmented appendages. So what's an appendage? An appendage is a portion of an arthropod that sticks out from its body and has a function. Examples of appendages include legs, arms, and antennae. The appendages of arthropods are also made of joints. A joint is the location where two parts meet. In addition, myriapods have these traits. Many legs, ranging from 750 to more, a little bit more than 10. One pair of antennae. No wings, two body sections, a head and a trunk. Some common examples of myriapods are millipedes, centipedes, and garden centipedes. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.